welcome to Painting Your Future with Cure for Bare Walls. I'm fine artist Latanya Renee, and some ask the question, how did I get started as a fine artist? Well, for one, I'm self-taught. In 1993, I began painting um, acrylic nails, like learning how to design nails. Uh, I was in, I think I was in 11th or 12th grade of high school, and I got fascinated when I found my mother's nail kit in one of the rooms so I actually started using the old product started practicing with it on my sister and I can say I can really remember the way the nails look how wide they were how funny they were as far as designs but hey we rocked them she rocked them and this is how I got my start of course from that point on I knew that I wanted to uh, be in some type of arts I've always played um, either sang in choir at through school elementary instruments, clarinet, um, all type of things like that. I've always been a pretty artsy, creative person. I always did some type of creative writing. Um, even if no one read it, I wrote a lot of things in my journal. So I've always been pretty much creative. So around, um, like I said, 11th, 12th grade of high school, I started uh, getting into nails a lot more. Straight out of high school, I went to Virginia Fair Be Beauty School, which is in Ferndale, Michigan. My mom was actually an instructor there at the time, and she was able to help me to go ahead and get in. I finished the course in about a few months, and I was licensed by January of 1995. I had a career of about five years as a professional nail tech in the city of Detroit. I worked in Southfield and Oak Park, Michigan most of my career. I had been featured in hair magazines with my nails and things like that. So um, with the way we did nails in Detroit, it was such a big thing during that time to actually have art on the nails. There were some girls that were so artistic. I was pretty artistic and I enjoyed the art that we created on the nails. It has really just gotten big overall in the nail industry within maybe the last 10 years. But this is something we had been doing. People had actually been doing this before I began as a nail tech. So from then on, um, I worked at uh, Erica's Nails, etc. It was a girlfriend of mine that owned the salon. And we went over her house one day for like a little housewarming party. And she had this big canvas. I would say it's about a 30 by 40, which is the same size I ended up purchasing to paint my first artistic piece. Well, when I noticed that she told us that she painted it and it was based upon like how she painted nails, that had always held strong and true in my head for years so my thing was when i purchased my first home i wanted to actually paint on a canvas so i purchased my first home in 2007 um, here in lawrenceville georgia and i could not wait to get my hands on the canvas i had these colors in my mind that i wanted to uh, pay and create my home a certain type of way in my living space and so I purchased a canvas and kind of used the same techniques that I use on doing nails but on a much larger scale. I used the same type of paints that we use. Um, I could understand things about the the process when you prime, when you base anything, when you paint anything, when you coat anything. It was the same type of concept that actually transferred over. So that's how I got my start as an artist from a nail tech in the 1990s until painting my first canvas when I moved into my home. Once I started going through a divorce through my short lived marriage, I actually used painting as my therapy. It was my outlet after uh, leaving corporate America, after kind of going through some hard times, after going through depression. I just started purchasing canvases and I realized that once I started painting that I could not stop painting. So that was around 2010. I ended up launching Art by Latanya Renee in 2011 because I could not stop painting. So once I started painting, I just began to um, research a lot more, started to study art a lot more, started to study the chemistry, the colors, all type of things. So I just became fascinated with painting. So everything that I do paint, I'm kind of drawing it from, uh, in the beginning I was kind of drawing it from more or less like things that I would see in my mind or when I looked at other type of artists, 
But along the way, I began to develop my own style and put things into my own uh, words on canvas, which is through the abstract art. Uh, one of the things that I kind of prefer and I do like painting would be trees, would be uh, musical instruments because of my love for music and how uh, music has just been such an intricate part of my life. So with that, that's how I got my start as a fine artist. I use my platform of creating art on acrylic nails and move into painting on canvas. However, there were a lot of things I did in between that time. I didn't just go from doing nails to painting on canvas. I had a lot of other creative things that I did as far as a business or as far as what I did with my life in between that. And all of those things helped me to learn how to paint my story on canvas. So thank you for tuning in. For more information about Cure for Bear Walls, you can log on to cureforbearwalls.com and that's C-U-R-E-F-O-R-B-A-R-E.com. Sign up for our mailing list uh, updates and thanks again for tuning in.